All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Holy Potatoes, We're in Space. It's a, uh, I actually don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to expect from this game. I'm purposefully, look, uh, like, I purposefully know nothing about this game, mainly because I played Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop back in the day, uh, back in two years ago, 2015, and it quite possibly is one of the most important things to have happened to my channel ever. Uh, playing it was huge for me. It jumped me from 5,000 subs to more or less 10,000, which was incredible. And, you know, really, really helped me out in my course of life. And so I'm really excited to be playing this game, but as usual, I like to go into these things blind. Because, you know, there's that sense of wonder and discovery that I really appreciate. I also really like this logo. They do vector art really well at Daylight Studios. Anyway, apparently they've also been picked up to publish, uh... uh to be published by Daedalic, which is actually pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, Young Hell. There's no escape, old friend. You don't get to call me that anymore, Hal. Can't you see what I'm trying to do, Jiraga? All of my efforts are dedicated to saving the universe. Ha! You self-serving spudface. Is that what you think you're doing? All this death and destruction isn't going to save anything. After all these years, how can you still not understand? There are far greater dangers that need to be stopped. But at what cost, Hal? How many innocent lives must be lost? No, I will sabotage every one of your missions to my last dying breath. You disappoint me. I have to point this out. His hat has goggles on it, and those goggles have eyebrows. It's kind of amazing. Anyway. Regardless, it would be in your best interest to surrender now. What can you possibly do? Fight the Eclipse? Our armada blots out the sun. You wouldn't stand a chance. Heh. I can't believe y you can still call them that. The Eclipse are nowhere near what they used to be. Enough chatter, old friend. Looks like I will just have to beat some sense into you. Come then. Show me you aren't more bark than bite. Alright, tutorial. Oh, yeah, this is... This is uh, apart from wanting to play this because I loved Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop, the spaceship designs are amazing in this game, or at least in my opinion. I really like them. Anyway, uh, Draga, I know y all your tricks. We fought side by side for so long. You cannot best me. I was always the better pilot. We'll bet some sense... We'll beat some sense into this fool, but we have to be quick about it. Once his weapons come online, they're going to be big trouble. All right, select a weapon from the control panel, click on the hull of the enemy ship, and when you're ready, click fire. All right, so these are, I assume these are my weapons? Yeah, so each character fits to a different slot here. So we've got the perfect pea shooter, level 10, laser single target charge required, HP attack, okay. Assign crew, little Loon Loonberg, King Vaizi, Andromeda, <laughs> <laughs> Motoko Kusanagi, Kusanegi. Um, yeah, so these people really like to do references. Some work, some don't. I'm fairly certain he's supposed to be a uh, Char. Uh, I think from Gundam. It's been a while. Uh, and she's most definitely uh, the protagonist from Ghost in the Shell. Some of these other ones I'm not going to recognize, unfortunately. But that's okay. Anyway, let's use her and aim for the hull. Uh, oh, can I, can I fire multiple? Alright, so I can fire multiple guns, but it costs me charge. Okay. Your beauty weapons are no, you, yeah. anyway, cosmic bolt. Alright, so yeah, you can target, uh, specific weapons. We can use our shield to protect our weapons, or the hull. Shield damaged, uh, shield the damaged weapon by clicking on its corresponding slot number in the shield panel. And when you're ready, fire this hull again. Okay. How, wait. Oh! So we're shielding, we're shielding the damaged one. Okay, cool. And then we're firing again. We have 12 charge this time. So what's this one do? Oh, it's a wave. Deafening Foghorn. Wave hits all. 
missile does splash damage, but seeing as there's only one target, I'm just gonna hit him with uh with my singular singular attacks here. Your puny weapons are no match for yep, yeah, alright, cosmic bolt again. And targeted and ow and things are happening. Take no chances with Jiraga. Get our laser weapon operational. We cannot afford to miss. He's always been a slippery one. Hoo oh boy, here it comes. There's no running from them lasers. We gotta take it down before it takes us down. Alright, so we've got hull and that. It looks like the hull's probably invulnerable. Yeah, may not take damage from any sources. Alright. Well, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna keep shielding uh, slot 3, which... Who is this again? Oh, that's the Foghorn, so still him. He's the one injured. Okay. How is a powerful laser weapon? Laser weapons are highly accurate, but can only attack a single target. We can fire multiple weapons if we have enough charge. Take that weapon down. Okay, and while we're at it, I guess I actually have... Uh, I actually have enough to fire three of these things. Oh, this is probably the shield charge rate, so HP... I gotcha. Well, that's cool. Okay. So, I think I'm getting the hang of this pretty quick, actually. Oops. Let's take him off. Yeah, interface is good. We're still going to be shielding three, just because. And we should be able to take out that laser. I dig this. It's nothing like Holy Potatoes a Weapon Shop, and I'm kind of okay with that. I tried to go easy on you, old friend, but the games are over. Here comes the big guns. His ship has more weapons than we do. We'll have to try something else. I've, I think I have just the trick. All right. Time for the ace up our sleeves. We can use special pilot skills in battle. They don't cost us a turn, but may consume charge. Click on the stasis lock below. Stasis lock. Stuns all parts of the enemy ship for four turns. That's a little bit broken. Anyway, here goes nothing. Stasis lock. Okay. Bah, you and your tricks, Jiraga. This is merely a setback. We have this ship on lockdown. It's a long shot, but let's try to gun him down. Okay, so it looks like uh, we automatically heal as well, which is nice. Okay, so seeing as he's got a lot of things this time around, let's do... Oh, I have everything. All right, so yeah, let's gun down his, his everything. I should probably focus on the weakest. All of his guns are about the same. All right, if I hit if I hit his hull, which doesn't seem to be invulnerable, we might have a, a shot. All right, so we got missile splash, wave hits all. That's the one I should probably be focusing on. Uh, oh, okay, that's different. So we we do it in order. That's neat. Okay, anything else I specifically can do here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we wiped that gun off the map, which is great. Uh, oh, we don't have anything yet. Uh, I'm gonna keep him up. I think we can, I don't know if we can fight everybody. Okay, so we got a missile, we got a railgun, pierces shields, and shrapnel multi-hit. Uh, let's see. Attack, 1440. Attack, attack. Can I still fire all of the guns? I can still fire every gun. Awesome. Yeah, for lucky we can uh, cripple him. I mean, this is the tutorial, so you never know where it's, what's going to turn out. Anyway, why won't you listen? Why won't you understand? If you aren't with me, then you shall simply cease to be. Annihilate them. Okay, that's our cue. We need to live to fight another day. Alright, and emergency warp. Why do I get the feeling that this the Jiraga is the main character's dad from the previous game? Might be, I don't know. Anyway. Faye, what did you need me to get from the hub again? Oh. Spot, not this again. Why are you wasting your time with Gigi's journal? Cassie, there could be valuable information on where Gigi might be held. Who we're dealing with, yada yada. You know, stuff that could lead us to them. It's been six months since Gigi was kidnapped. If there's anything in there that could have helped us, shouldn't we have found it by now? 
Well, if someone didn't drench this journal with coffee, I might have been able to get more out of this. I mean, there's no point in crying over spilled uh, coffee, right? I can't tell if... I assume Faye is female, but I'm having a hard time telling. All that's salvageable is him recounting and patting himself on the back for that eclipse battle he fought a long time ago. You know, the one he told us as kids? I mean, come on. Gigi's a good pilot, but not that good. Taken on a full assault from a Eclipse mother mothership piloted by Hal, the astral premier of Eclipse himself, no one survives that. If you really ate that blast head on, we wouldn't have a ship to be in. Look at this hunk of junk. Hey, it isn't a hunk of junk. It has a name, a glorious name. Right, about that name. Awesome, right? I got out online off a name generator for all things cool and awesome. No, it's terrible. Change it. How dare you? The intergalactic, anti-gluten-free, supremo Dorino, vegetable shredder, McChopster, doom ship of endless fury is a beautiful, well thought. It's stupid and a mouthful. You're stupid and a mouthful. <laughs> I love the faces here. Fine. Let's see what. Uh, let's see if you can come up with a better name for the ship. Spudnik sweetheart. No, it's the. Uh, it's the fish. Oh. Wait. Hold on. There we go. How about the fish? That's terror. Wow, okay, I really like that one. Fine. Why are you here anyway? Aren't you supposed to be getting the crafting room and therapy room set up? Right. That's what you needed from the Star Hub. All right, give me two shakes. Remember not to overspend. We're almost out of starch and resources. We both know I probably will, but if we run out of out we just got to get more. A couple of explorations should do the trick. Okay. Da. All right, time to get to work. The top left panel shows HP and fuel. Once the hull hits zero, we go bye-bye. Protected at all costs. This other panel on the right shows our resources and starch. Reminds us how poor we are. We're docked in the Star Hub right now. Let's get what Faye needs from there. Click the hub button on the left. This is... This game is gorgeous. Damn. Anyway, uh, the Star Hub offers free fueling and repairs to get more edibles uh, to stop by. Let's pop by the upgrade shop and get what we need. Click on the upgrade shop, shinies, blings, and beyond. I think I clicked on it. It's frozen. That's... Okay, good. That was worrying for a second. Alrighty, let's see here. Faye wanted us to get therapy facility and crafting workshop. Buy both of them. Okay. Okay, so it looks like there's, uh, like a level system. I don't know if it's RPG style or what otherwise. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we got, uh, what Duchess Tyrant wanted. Let's head back to the ship. Back to the hub. Back to the ship. Oh, hey! Our crew members just got back. Every single one of them are unique little snowflakes. They have skills that will be very useful in our explorations. My favorite part. Let's craft some weapons. Crafting workshop. Okay. We can craft new weapons by assigning crew and weapon parts to our stations. So assigning, removing, okay. So here's how you can craft weapons. You can always access it by uh, clicking I. Close the pop-up by clicking the X in the top right. Okay. Our crew need to need their orders before they get to work. Try assigning them to a work station with a blueprint. Drag and drop a crew member and a weapon to the craft crafting station. Sorry, I got hiccups here. All right, so we've got <laughs> we've got George Looney, which is obviously George Clooney, Scallion <laughs> Johansson, Scarlett Johansson, and Spuffy. So Buffy. Oh, I I love this already. Uh, one of the things I really liked about Holy Potatoes the Weapon Shop are the dumb reference characters, and here we are. Anyway, so we've got steady hands, laser fortification, shrapnel crafting. All right, so it looks like George. Uh, George Looney is the man for the job. All right, we're done in here. They'll take a soul or two, so let's leave them to it. Scroll out, or er, okay. Ooh, here we go. We just got our first objective. We need to complete all of our objectives before we can move on to the next galaxy. The bottom right panel shows the souls we have left before the eclipse catches up with us. We need to travel to the next galaxy before that happens, or we'll be in trouble. Remember, when we explore, travel or skip, it takes us. It takes up a soul. Click on the travel button in the bottom right panel of the map. Okay. 
So our objective is travel to Biari. We're gonna need B Biari? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna need more resources before we warp. It's time for exploration. Uh, let's start with getting to one of the outlying planets. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the UI for a second. So we got fuel, we got hull, we've got various resources. So antimatter, plasma, ore, nanofibers, bio waste, starch, cash, obviously. Okay, so we have skip, travel, explore. I'm just familiarizing myself. Okay, the galaxy map shows us all the planets in this galaxy. We are currently at the star hub. Look for Bieri. It should have an objective tag on it. Click on the Bieri and... Okay, there we go. So, we have enemies, lurking interceptor, unbreakable battleship. We have antimatter, plasma, ore. Alright, uh, let's see. Where's the button for travel? Oh, this. Okay, it didn't exactly look like a button. But then again, I also wasn't paying full attention. Anyway, one soul is later, nine souls left. Welcome to Biara area. I don't know. Anyway, the overview screen shows us all the current tasks that are in progress. Or are complete. There are lots of stuff you can look into. Check it out. Okay, so we have this, one soul... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. The gun is ready. Okay, so we have parts. What are these? We have a Blessed Apollo Missile, a Blessed Pea Shooter, and a Mighty Boom Barrage. Uh, the damage is pretty low comparatively on all of them, I guess. But I guess this one fires multiple times, if I remember right. Yeah, five, five hits to random targets. Okay, crew. So we have Spuffy. 5% uh, attack for all weapon types. And... Okay, so she's a combat specialist, so she does 5% extra damage and accuracy. Uh, Skylian Johansson, pretty much purely for lasers, and he makes better shrapnel and better waves. So he's he's our craftsman for the time being. Oh, they have different bios too, I love this. George hates it when others make fun of his buck teeth, but it certainly doesn't help when he speaks about it with his tofu speech patterns. Spuffy, tired of fighting creatures on the neck uh, of the night endlessly. Spuffy now seeks thrills in the deepest, darkest pockets of space. And Scarlet uh, Scallion Johansson, a famous actress who is actually a spy for the United Galaxies. She has since deserted them, citing moralistic reasons. Or has she really? Pilot. Cassie, that's Captain Cassie for you. Always raring to go for an epic adventure since her spudding spudling days. She definitely got more than what she bargained for. Saving Gigi is always on her mind, but that doesn't mean she can't enjoy the ride. So we have one ability currently. Uh, oh, we also have alternate pi pilots, maybe? So, Faye, cool and aloof. Co-captain Faye, adopted sister of Cassie, often has to deal with her sister's boundless energy. Faye ensures that Cassie doesn't get into nearly as much trouble as she could. However, more often than not, she ends up being swept along for the excite, uh, al along in the excitement. Okay, so what's our ability? The Hail Mary deals 10% of hull's max HP in damage to both user and enemy's hull. Deals minor bonus damage to enemy based on the charge. All charges consumed this way. Okay, so they both have the Hail Mary. It doesn't seem like there's much of a difference apart from, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we don't have any treasure research. Oh, interesting. So if a weapon gets destroyed, there's mental trauma that you can pick up. I guess that's what therapy's for. Extra resources. I assume we can't get any of these till later. Extra starch. Reduce fuel. Two weapons get healed at the start of every encounter. These are neat. I hope the uh, tech tree gets bigger, but I guess we also have upgrades and some other things that we can do, too. I don't know. I love it when games have, like, huge tech trees for me to work with. Okay. Sweet. We made it to Bieri. Let's check in with Faye real quick. Okay, complete objective. I'm assuming we're here orbiting this charming planet because he ran out of star ran us out of starch. I like to think that I'm here to get us more riches, more spoils. Don't be such a wet blanket. Right, so what are we running low on? Everything. Ten points to Puffelhuff. I'm an Avenclaw, we both know that. But I digress. Do whatever needs doing, Cassie, but do it quickly. We have a couple of souls left before those Eclipse lackeys catch up with us. Ah, uh, Starchy and Hash again? Talk about persistent. They just don't understand us women. I mean, no means no, you know? 
I mean, I'm guilty of always talking about wanting someone who'd travel across the universe with me. But not like this, man. Not like this. Yeah, well, I don't want to get shot down in space, or worse, put in a clip cell. So, get what we need from this planet, and we can head back to the hub and warn the Spud off before they catch up with us. Our ship's still reeling from the last time they tagged us. Yes, Task Mistress Faye. Peon, go work now. Work, work. Okay, time for exploration. Before we head down towards the planet's surface, we need to assign some weapons on the bridge. Click on the bridge. Bridge! Here we assign weapons and crew on the bridge to their stations. Make sure to look at the weapon stats. Crew affect weapon stats depending on what skills they possess. Okay, so, um... Missile does splash damage. This is laser, yes? Yeah, it's a laser. Okay. Drag and drop weapons and her onto the control stations. Oh, I see. We've got two. So I'm going to put that and that. So we only have room for two people so far. All right. Looks like we're done here. Scroll out or click the exit button. Okay. Time to go out and explore the planet and get some loot. Radio. Let's go click start. So fuel required. This is different. I'm confused. This is neat, though. All right, so it looks like we're fighting something. Floating box. I'm assuming it's Faye. We've picked up the signals from some weird metallic box floating out in space. Do we... Eh... Uh, you know, I'm going to read these normally just because it, uh... Uh, otherwise, it's it's just going to drag on a little bit. Okay, we picked up the signals of some weird metallic box floating out in space. Do we want to reel it in and see what it is? Hmm. The scanners can't seem to scan it properly. Let's bring it on board. Okay. So, there are random events here. That could be bad. That could be... I don't know. Anyway. They bring it on board and open it up. They find it filled with all sorts of junk, which they dump into the resources bin. There's nothing else valuable in it. Oh, that's too bad. I hoped it would have some treasure. So I guess if it's uh, pink text, it's it's Faye and yeah. Okay. Well, so we get a boon to stats uh, to hull, boom barrage, peace shooter, and a little bit of resources. Not much though. Is that the only thing, or do we keep going a little while longer? Anyway, don't be shaking in your boots. Oh wait, no. This is this is totally like a weird Mickey Mouse thing. Anyway, uh, God, I can't do a Mickey Mouse voice. I don't think I can. Don't be shaking in your boots now. Yeah, that's about as close as I can get. Anyway, those heavy, heavy weapons look like trouble. Dragging in the hole might be a good idea. Okay, so they've got a pea shooter and some shields, and how much charge do we got? We got three. Well, if we do this, it's probably going to do more damage. And what do we want to shield up? Probably the... I'm leaning shotgun. Either that or hull. I don't know. Did I miss? Ow. Okay. That's some damage. Oh, but we healed right up. That's different. I'm not sure how or why. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, so their shields are not holding. Honestly, I'm probably going to do the exact same thing again. That shotgun does way more damage than the, than the laser does. Oh, yeah. The boon we just got uh, heals 50% of max HP every turn. So, obviously, we're, you know, this is the tutorial. Second tutorial fight? I don't know. It's being easy on us right now. Which is dirty cheap. But I'll take it. Anyway. Yeah, the alternative is I guess I could have actually... I could just laser it. Unshakable Battleship is trying to buy its escape with $590. Interesting. So they can they can uh, surrender. Nah. At some point, I'll look into how, how surrenders work and stuff like that. But yeah, we got just as much money, and we get some extra parts too. So obviously, we'll have to weigh that in the future. Counter three. Cassie and Faye are on their way back to their ship. When they notice that an old lady has fallen down, her groceries scattered everywhere. No one else seems to be inclined to help her. Uh, we need to help her. Come on. Cassie races to the old onion lady's side and helps her, her up. While Faye picks up the groceries, they escort her back to her house. 
where her son gives them a sum of starch out of gratitude for their for their help. Okay, so we get a small amount of money for that. These are a little weird, but that's fine. Anyway, uh, so get it done quick. I need to take a leak. Lurking Interceptor. What is this guy's name? The, the problem is it would be great if I could actually see a name, but they just have weird outfits. All right, so what are we looking at? We still have our boon right now, yeah? I don't know how long that boon goes, but it more or less puts us in uh, its stupid town easy mode. Well, I guess I'm okay with that. That's rough. All right, where's he aiming? Okay. Nowhere special. It'd be nice if I could almost do like a repeat repeat action button. Oh, but his shields suck. Oh, wait, yeah, go figure. It's because we're, uh... Uh, we're actually shooting multiple parts. I forget that the shield only blocks one. I'm so used to games where the shield blocks every bit of damage up until a certain point. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna keep aiming at it. Oh, right. I forgot that, uh, Scallion Johansson was also going to be able to fire that last round. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to accept a surrender here. Maybe if they give more, more than just money. But as it stands, does not seem worth it anyway. Okay, so exploration complete. So we got, we won encounters against these guys, small amount of resources, small amount of fuel, fair amount of starch, and pea shooter, and Apollo, and nothing else. Neat. Next. Months later, eight souls left. Woohoo! That was awesome! Let's check in with Faye and give her an update. Objective complete. Dunzo! That should be plenty. Uh, I guess this will have to do. I guess this will have to do! I think you mean thank you, Captain, my Captain, for all your hard work. I will get you your drink from our space bar now. We're out of space lemon juice and vodka. Of course we are. We're broke. Well, a little less broke now. Here, have some of this refreshing beverage instead. By refreshing beverage, do you mean water? It's refreshing. I'm not wrong. Everything is terrible. It's about to be much worse if we don't start heading back to the warp gate at the hub. We need to warp to the next galaxy, whatever that is, to throw them off our set. Man, we just cannot catch a break. Uh, back to the hub screen, then. Think they'll have Vavka back at the hub? Think our starch cache could magically double in weight by the time we get back? A simple no would have sufficed, Sassball. I love the, char <laughs> the character portraits, they're great. Alright, time to bail. We need to head out to the next galaxy before Starchy and Hash from Eclipse catch up with us. Get to the warp gate. Okay, so we click on the star hub, which is travel. Yes? Okay. So can I save? Does this does this game support save slots? I have no idea actually when when this game saves. That's a bit of a concern for me, just because I would oh execute turn spacebar that's nice so I can I I do have some hotkeys that I can kind of work with here. There's not much, but still. Okay. Well, I guess maybe we just got to get out of the tutorial for it. Okay, so we're heading back to the star star hub. So we're at Bieri. We can't explore again. Oh, I see. We've we fully explored it. Okay. One soul later, souls, seven souls left. Yeah, I'm going to try and min-max how long we're in an area as much as possible. This game is surprisingly FTL-like, which I actually kind of appreciate. Except for the fact that the ships are goddamn beautiful. As opposed to pretty cool looking. I don't know. Anyway. We made it back to in one piece. Let's see if Faye has anything for us to do. Complete objective. We're back, and in the black, starch falling out of my pack. Cass, do the universe a favor and never write lyrics. I'd be spudding amazing. No. You know what? I already am amazing. I am a star. You're named after a few stars, Cassio Cassiopeia, as am I. Does that make me a star, too, for Spud's sake? I'm a gloriously glowing sun, the center of everything. The planets dance around me. You're more like one of those old dying ones, all moldy with negativity, full of gas and flatulent stuff. Mm. So, where are we headed this time? Doesn't matter. 
We still have zero information on where Gigi's at. So, I'll just dance my fingers across the coordinates panel like I always do? Yeah, anywhere but here. And if there's any last minute stuff you need to get from the hub, go get it. We won't be coming back here. Alrighty, we're coming for you, Grandpa. We still have no idea where you are, but we'll get there eventually. I was actually expecting um, uh, the main character from the previous game uh, to be the main character for this game. I'm glad they actually made new characters, though. There's a lot more opportunity <laughs> and personality. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's much of the hub. In fact, I can't even go there. Location star hub. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Click on the warp gate. I really love the, uh, the model, th the modeling, the texturing, I don't know, the design work that's gone into every one of these things. I, I'm pretty jealous, like, these look, these, all of this game actually looks really cool. I'm surprised they included more, um, painted elements, but they look nice, so I don't really care. Anyway, uh, I'm still not used to this whole warping business. Use the bucket this time. I'm not cleaning up that crap again. But you're my sister, you're supposed to take care of me. I'm your younger sister. You should be taking care of me. But the whole useless older sister trope is cute. And I take care of... Oh! Hey! You're late! Uh... Excuse me. There's been another incident! We called you a soul ago! Took you long enough to respond! Whoa, buddy, you got the wrong spuds. We just... That warping space cat has made a, been a menace for too long. Stealing our food. Knocking over stuff on purpose. Did you say warping space cat? How's that even possible? Spot if I know. It blinks all over the place. Stared us dead in the eye and then knocks glasses over and ceramics off the shelves. My precious china plate collection. <laughs> ah, now that you're here, animal control. Nab that thing and get rid of it. But we're not animal. Absolutely, sir. We will have it out of your hair. Hmm, my apologies. Poor choice of words. <laughs> Wait. What? We will? Think about it. If we caught this space cat that can warp at will, we could probably develop some new tech if I studied it for a while, and... That will solve our warp problems! Genius! Alright, I got this. Ahem. Let's see... <laughs> Not to worry, sir. My trusty sidekick and I will solve your pesky, pesky cat problems. Your what? If anything, you're my... Bah! I couldn't care less. Just get rid of that thing! Or don't. Or don't you dare show your face. No time to waste. Time to go the fish! No, oh, time to go to the fish. Anyway, whatever. Let's start by checking out the surrounding galaxies. It couldn't have gone too far. Curiosity killed the blank. This is interesting. I like this. I like this a lot. I can't wait to play more of it. But I think this is actually a really good stopping point, all things considered. Uh, let's take a quick look at the hub just to see if there's anything cool here. Okay, I don't know what these things are. What's this? So this lets me buy new weapons. Or so old ones. Why are some of them grayed out? I have no idea. So, Pea Shooter, Succubus, heals the part with the lowest health for 150% of this weapon's attack. Oh. So that's a healer gun, that's cool. Apollo Pacifist, chance to weaken. So this thing can only heal six at a time. Oh, it's a weapon part. Weapon part. So we got the pea shooter. Okay, let's go back to the hub for a second. I'm just gonna keep looking around. What's this? Okay, so these are raw resources. Oh, ah, uh, so these are new crew that I can hire. Now I can only get one more person right now. So let's take a look around. I'm not entirely sure if I want to hire anybody, but let's see. So we got Edward Norton. Uh, Edward left his basket as a young eggling to see the universe. His many years of odd jobbing and port hopping have led him to be quite the skilled laborer. Isn't... I want to say like Edward Norton's Fight Club or something, but I don't remember exactly. What the? Diamond. A very strong and invincible individual. His value is said to be worth uh, 24 carats. That's hilarious. Anyway, another laser. Don't care that much. Onion. 
Argentina laser specialist and Hannah so <laughs> Hannah soloist uh, I guess probably yeah we'll we'll go with Hannah soloist just because Hannah carries around uh, carries around with her a cute furry hamster like creature in her pocket named Rebecca she says she understands the squeaks of Rebecca but who can know for sure that's actually a Minsk reference which is kind of confusing anyway so she's a missile character honestly I'm not I'm not particularly enamored with any of them and I can't really use them for much so let's not anyway what's this oh so we can upgrade uh, so this gets us some extra defense M oh yeah number of slots too so we'll have to wait for later uh, research lab training room instant boost to all skill levels okay that training room sounds really tempting let's take a look at what other things we got around here Hull reinforcements, uh, so that just increases the max ship HP by 150. Extra fuel, extra storage. Oh, charge capacitor. Um, max charge up by three, charge gain per turn less. Okay, so we can kind of min-max it depending on what we want. Uh, so this lets me... Um, this would let me get extra charge per turn so I can fire more often. What else we got? Shield game per turn. Shield game per turn. Shield game per turn. I'm leaning for the charge capacitor for the time being. Let's upgrade the charge capacitor. So my max charge is going to be low. But it means I can fire more often. Seems like a reasonable thing to me. We also want to get the research lab and the training room. Both of those seem really useful right now. Otherwise, meh. Okay, uh, so let's go back to the ship. Okay, overview. Tasks in progress. Training quarters. We'll have to take a look at that. Back to the ship. Alright, um... How do we do things? Is this... Training quarters. Okay. So I can... I can upgrade things. Oh, but it costs money. A uh, fair amount. So we can actually... We can work on his shrapnel crafting and stuff like that. It's tempting, but... Nah. What about... What about Spuffy? Oh, I'd have to unassign her from the bridge. Well, let's see what she can learn. Extra accuracy, extra damage, or we can learn new skills. Um... Jeez, I might just leave that alone for a second. Uh, let's see. This is crafting. So that's not useful. This is probably crew quarters. Therapy facility, so that's that's for when uh, characters get depressed. Okay, here we go. So I really don't have much money. However, okay, let's take uh, George Looney, put him over here. Extra resources gained during explorations is tempting, but I really want to get repair crews. Heals two weapons by 15% at the end of each combat encounter. Costs a lot, worth it. Okay, and then we're going to put her back on the shotgun. Um, I wanted to take a look at this for a hot second. So, we can make an Apollo... Oh, I see. So, these are blueprints. So, uh, those, if they're grayed out, they're not full weapons. We have to produce them first. Well, for the time being, I don't have enough money uh, or anything to do anything. So, skip this soul. Nope. I ain't skipping souls. And there we go. Okay, so now we're at the official stopping point. So, I already am in love with this game. It's gorgeous, the music is pretty good, the writing is uh, campy as hell, and that's a very good thing. And, I, you know, I just, I enjoy it, and I can't wait to play more. I think the only singular complaint I could possibly grumble up for this game is the, uh, the background of space can be a little bit uninspired. But mainly that's just because the game sets a, such a like high standard for beauty for everything else that is just like come on give me some cool stars or just like nebula maps i don't know whatever minor complaint if anything seriously this is a really quality game and if you guys like fdl you'd like this if you like totally potatoes weapon shop this is a completely different game but you'd probably also maybe like this just because the writing and everything is stupid i hope we get i hope we can recruit that space cat to be our uh our our dog uh on the ship if you guys remember anything um, and I guess as a basic reminder, if some of my, like, 
wonder in regards to this game doesn't make any sense to you, please go watch Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop on my channel. It was a great series to do. I had a lot of fun with it. And, uh, you know, I think it would give some level of reference for why I'm so excited for this game. Not to beyond the fact that it's actually a really wonderful game and I highly recommend picking it up. I don't entirely know when it comes out. I think it comes out on the 14th, uh, but it could be wrong. Either way, get it. It's worth it. It's a great game and made by great people. And that's it. So, uh, if you guys like this impressions video slash first episode of Let's Play in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more uh, Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, Holy Potatoes, we're in space, hit subscribe because I've already got a series on the first one. And boy, am I going to be doing full series on this one. I don't think I'm going to do multiple playthroughs, even though I could see that potentially being possible. Uh, just if you wanted to vary tactics a little bit, I don't think it's worth it. Um... But I, I am excited to be playing more, and I will be playing a crap ton more of this uh, today and over the course of the next couple weeks. Uh, especially live. I'll probably just dive right in the, into that later on today. Um, but yeah, either with that... Oh, e either with that. Uh, I guess with that, either way, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. And Daylight Studios, I know you guys are watching. Thanks for making this game. This is a wonderful experience already, and I can't wait to play more. Oh, other thing I just noticed, uh, any extra time you have from a previous soul gets added onto this one, so we actually have a ton of time. Nice.